forget the will they won't they love triangles and misunderstanding drama here are the top 10 romance anime couples everyone loves Number 10, Kaguya-sama Love is War, Shirogane and Kaguya. <laughs> Is dating really supposed to be complicated? A late student council president Miyuki and vice president Kaguya, both secretly crushing on each other, wage a hilarious war of pride at Shuchin Academy. Neither dares to confess first, fearing the humiliation of being seen as the weaker one. <laughs> Almost every time someone talks to me about a romantic comedy, they mention how well the romance is delivered. And along came this show called Kaguya-sama Love is War that goes beyond just being a romantic comedy. In a landscape dominated by recent isekai shows, there is a need for fresh air. Kaguya-sama manages to do just that. Many scenes of the show have a dynamic transition that is impactful, ranging from character expression to the clever timing of the dialogues. Kaguya-sama sets a gold standard for a romantic comedy that's so much more than just just confessing love. Number 9, Kaicha wa Made Sama, Misaki Nusui. Being a student council president by day is tough, but being a secret maid by night is even tougher. By day, Misaki Azuyawa enforces strict rules at Saika High's first female president, earning the nickname Demon President. By night, she works at a maid cafe to help her family. But her secret life as a maid at a cafe is exposed by the coolest guy in school, Usui. <laughs> Kaicho wa Made sama stands out from your typical romance anime, and that's precisely why you'll fall in love with it. While most anime with a romantic element hint at character feelings through subtle interactions, but lack genuine physical connections, this series excels at conveying emotions through subtext, what remains unspoken but is vividly portrayed. Each episode is packed with entertaining events, and artistically, Made sama shines. I particularly enjoy the character designs and the frequent use of deformed and chibi characters to enhance the comedic aspects of the show. Number 8, Yona of the Dawn, Yona and Hak. <laughs> Well, who would have thought that the female lead would fall for her cousin before she actually falls for the male lead? Pampered Princess Yona's life turns upside down when a betrayal steals her throne and family. Forced to flee with her bodyguard, Hawk, she sheds her innocence and embarks on a quest for revenge and strength, vowing to reclaim her birthright. <laughs> Yoda of the Dawn proves that the shouju historical combination isn't dead. It can be successfully and well done. Ultimately, it's a heartfelt series that skillfully combines tragedy and comedy in an entertaining, colorful package. If you enjoyed that, give this one a try. While the story isn't groundbreaking, it delivers awesome character development. Each episode features fresh, funny, and cute moments, along with romantic elements. Timing for action scenes is also spot on. As for animation, Yona maintains a consistent and palette that occasionally bursts with vibrancy, especially in the detailed character designs and landscapes. The action sequences are exciting, suspenseful, and for a fantasy series, surprisingly realistic. Number 7, Your Line April, Kosei vs. Kori. <laughs> Ah, the classic tearjerker that everyone's still talking about even after 10 years. Child piano prodigy Kosei loses his passion for music after his mother's death. Now living a muted life, a free-spirited violinist named Cory forces him back into the world of music, promising to repaint his world with vibrant colors. <laughs> 
手が私に触れて喜んでる<笑>ピアノが弾きたいってうずうずしてる「Your Lie in April」is a deceitfully masterful series that initially appears lighthearted and colorful with a palette boasting pastels that suggests it's another romantic comedy however as we delve deeper we realize that beneath this facade lies a tragedy in the making the sound design ugh, is spot on with the soundtrack that artfully captures the intended emotions of each scene the animation is equally impressive featuring bright vibrant colors that bring the characters to life while the story starts off slowly it gradually builds momentum maintaining a tone that aligns with its themes structurally it's a solid portrayal of youth balancing drama without losing sight of its core message number six Saikano Tomoya and Megumi Thank you. Boy just wanted to create a romance themed game but ended up having his own harm in real life. Must be so dreamy, huh? Otaku Tomoya dreams of creating a moving video game. He assembles a dream team his childhood friend as an artist, a literary genius for the script, and a beautiful girl as his muse. But as they delve deeper, Tomoya learns the truest emotions come from personal experiences, not just imagination. <laughs> First of all, I'd like to mention that despite the edgy tag, the fan service in this show is quite light. Over time, there are moments when the show becomes more serious on the romance and drama front, but it still maintains a fairly light tone without veering into cliche territory. If you're well versed in today's anime industry, especially with all the moe and ecchi shows that come out these days, you'll likely appreciate this show because of its endless references and parodies. Number 5 Rascal Doesn't Dream of Bunny Girl Senpai, Mai and Sakuta. お詫びには期待してます。わかった。それなりのことはしてあげるから。エロいことでも。少しくらいならね。A uh, pretty face getting ignored by everyone? Impossible. Well, that until a mystery illness, puberty syndrome, makes teenagers manifest weird phenomena. High schooler Sakuta recognizes it, having seen it before. When he sees a famous actress, Mai seemingly invisible in a bunny girl outfit, he knows she's a victim. さん、僕のことよくわかってる。<laughs> Bunny Girl Senpai is one of those anime that makes the story sound pretty similar to other genres of anime, but despite that, it still has a unique pitch to it. The fact that it implies some weakness or fear of teenagers makes it relatable to people. Speaking of the characters, there are so many waifus on this show, and they're all lovable, which makes it entertaining to watch. Clover Works nailed it this time. Number four, Hori Mia, Hori and Mia Mura. Who knew that a dirty little secret could lead you to having a love life? Popular schoolgirl Hori and seemingly shy Miyamura hide surprising secrets. Hori juggles schoolwork with housework, and Miyamura has a hidden delinquent side with tattoos and piercings. A chance encounter reveals their true selves, and they form a secret friendship, finding comfort in sharing their hidden identities. Hori san, sore, doko iku no janakute, ikanaite. Hori Mia is one of the most highly anticipated adaptations. It exudes a light-hearted charm, invoking that familiar I wish my high school life was like this anime sentiment. Despite the relationship being prominently featured, other characters also get their moments to shine with the show's concise run, a detail I truly appreciate. Overall, Hori Mia feels realistic and adorable, and its ensemble cast make me feel cozy, as if I were a part of their friend group, invoking a touch of nostalgia. Number 3, Clan Ed, Nagisa, and Tomoya. So, how do you tame a grumpy male lead? Of course, pair him with the walk in sunshine, good girl. Romance was the furthest thing from Tomoya's mind, not until a persistent girl with a love for sweet bread unexpectedly rewrote his world. High school delinquent Tomoya finds life meaningless. One day, he meets Nagisa, who motivates herself by saying things she likes. Touched by her spirit, Tomoya helps her to revive the drama club. Tomoya-kun! <laughs> 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 
Poignant, compelling, heartbreaking, Clan Ed indeed holds a special place in the hearts of many anime fans. Its emotional roller coaster, character development, and heart wrenching stories resonate deeply. Character development occurs in parallel, and more drama can be drawn from the intertwining relationships among the characters. Some episodes do define their focus on a particular girl, but the overall immersive feel of the series is not lost. One of the things that makes Clan Ed so lifelike is the animation itself, through sheer quality. Just as the animation can tributes to the series coming alive, the music does an outstanding job of amplifying the emotions portrayed. Number two, Tanikawa, Nasa, and Tsukasa. Who even marries someone they just met? Well, not just Anna and Hans for sure. High school was supposed to be about top scores and college prep for Nasa Yuzaki, but a chance encounter with a mysterious girl under the moonlight sets him for a path far stranger. Marriage. Straight A student Nasa craves for a historic life. Fate throws him a curveball when a stunning girl saves him from a tree. Head over heels, he confesses his feelings, but her plays out of this world. Marry her or forget it. Tony Kaku Kawai is a masterpiece that hits all the right buttons. While the story doesn't follow traditional narrative, it beautifully portrays the relationship between the two main characters. The blend of comedy and minimal drama creates a heartwarming experience in each episode. Studio 7 arcs may not be a powerhouse in animation, but they've skillfully adapted this series. Overall, it's a delightful show filled with humor and entertainment, so if you're looking for a feel good anime, this adaptation delivers exactly that. Number 1 The Apothecary Diaries. Mamao and Jinshi. いい子にはご褒美をあげないとね。よよよ。遠慮することはない。Can you call it a poison kink if someone loves it so much that they'd be okay for them to pass away as long as the poison was the cause of their death? Jinchi, the secret prince whom everyone was head over heels for, would go around looking for rare ingredients just to get Mao Mao's attention. He'd even go to the extent of allowing her to experiment concoctions just to keep her by his side despite how he's always been against Mao Mao consuming her own poison experiments. Because obviously why would he want the girl that he likes to kick the bucket? But anyways, he has to support her hobby or else Mao Mao wouldn't even bother staying. Apothecary Diaries establishes the new era of shouju. It's not your typical bad boy saving a damsel in distress because Mao Mao is literally a walking girl boss with her supportive simp beside her. It just goes to show that only a man with balls, because Jin Chi is not a eunuch, can handle a strong woman. Overall, it's a great refresh from the usual romance. It's funny, makes you giggle like a lovesick, but at the same time powerful. With a unique plot and well written characters with a power couple on top, Mao Mao and Jin Shi definitely stand as the best romance anime couple whom everyone loves.